graphic uh, inabilities here, but I've made an attempt to do uh, a bit of a map showing the area, Paso Robles Street, 13th Street, Highway 1. There's a ditch that uh, collects runoff water from the intersection, runs to a culvert under the railroad tracks. There's a vault uh, on the vegetable exchange property with a pipe out of the vault to a settling pond. That overflows again across the railroad street into a ditch and on uh, ultimately into the lagoon. So that just shows some, what some of the uh, geographical features are. There. Um, what I'd like to do is try to understand uh, what the various jurisdictions are. Um, and I'll ask, I'll ask the various agencies to help me with this. First of all, I should probably ask, is there a, an overall uh, agency that has authority over everything here uh, or not? If any of the agencies can, can help us understand that. Because I know it's partly state, partly private property, and I, I'd request an answer from agency representatives. Please. I'm, uh, that's not exactly an easy question. I'll take a shot at it. My name is Glenn Pretty. I'm uh, a Deputy Director of Public Works for San Luis Obispo County. Um, the two agencies that have the authority to do drainage and flood control work that have that kind of authority, the difference between responsibility and authority, is possibility. The possibility and an allowable jurisdiction are the County Flood Control District and the Oceanic Community Services District. Um, so that's the short answer. We also understand that there's some responsibility uh, on, as far as highway. Power. As far as the county is concerned, county, and that's why I said it's not exactly an easy issue, the county is different than the flood, County Flood Control District. The county uh, has jurisdiction over the two 13th Street Pass Roads and Railroad Street. And then within the road right away of those two, two streets for drainage. And overall responsibility for the land use. Okay, thank you. So let me, uh, let me augment my, my map here, if I understood correctly. Uh, Pass the Robles Street, and that, that goes down to, as I understand, it's three feet from the highway. Uh, the highway. I don't know exactly. Uh, there's a there's a there's right the goes through there. So right in the right way. So this would be ten. You know, these two streets within uh, the right way, the right way, and these two would be probably fifty feet wide. Similarly, on the road of the I don't think there's anybody from the railroad here. Is there, is there anyone from Union Pacific here? Yeah, I believe that this area is between the South End right away on this side and Pony's over here is owned, owned by the railroad. Okay, if I could, if I could uh, uh, take some license and let uh, the public representatives might help me here. This, this, is, this is private property owned by the Dismal Ocean Vegetables. Private there. And uh, the majority of this area, as I understand it, is on by the Pacific Railroad. That's what uh, I'm going to do a quick check on the record. Okay, so that's the various um, ownership breakdown. I can probably uh, just from that graphic ability there. I think it's a little bit misleading there because uh, you have that pond down there. Now, I don't think there's anything running underground from the pond underneath railroad. Excuse, Excuse me, that, the, the pond, the pond I'm, I'm, I've already had public comments, so what I'd like to do is, is allow the uh, representatives of the various agencies to see what resources we have, uh, if we can understand what the problem is, and what each of the agencies bring in. Um, 
I, I do know that, that that pond flows over and across the railroad. It's in the no, I just there. looked at it. It, it, it. Nothing flows from the pond across the across Railroad Street into the lot beyond. Okay. I'm Steve Price from the Department of Transportation, and I think it's a, a very good question about authority and responsibility. We have about 10 feet on this side to about 3 feet on this side is where our, our legal authority begins and ends. Um, as far as what we can bring to the table, we can't act as a lead agency in this endeavor. And I think that uh, Mr. Curry's comments, I think, were, were right in line with that, with, that, with that statement. But we are certainly willing to participate, as we've said uh, before, in any endeavor that would help alleviate the flooding uh, and keep Highway 1 open. And so we're actually just waiting for a lead agency to come and contact us, and then we'll be willing to participate to the extent that we can within our legal jurisdictional authority.